All right, let's see if I can make some progress in a bonus series for a change. And we'll pick on Ultimate Vantage featuring the Aston Martin Vantage AMR Pro that we see here. You'll find the bonus series in expert section of your career. Um, so it features two other Vantages, uh, Vantage N430 and V12 Vantage S. So uh, here we go. An extreme expression of performance. Discover the ultimate iteration of the Vantage. All right, so here we go. All right, 25% completion is worth eight gold. And uh, there are 20 tiers. So I'm expecting about uh, somewhere around tier five, we should be completing 25% uh, completion, possibly a little bit more because obviously we got some time trials, which is just a single event. So, all right, let's uh, jump in with a tier one here. We got head to head at Hockenheim National, autocross at Le Mans, and the cup is at Spa. So we'll start with head to head. And uh, Vantage AMR Pro, I got 13 upgrades out of 27 available to bring PR to 60.1. That's how I won this car. Uh, V12 Vantage S, fully upgraded. This is a cash car. Uh, and looking at it uh, fully upgraded, there must have been a upgrade discount offered on this car. Um, and there's also an exclusive series, so I'll have to uh, make my progress through there as well, since it's already fully upgraded. And the last car here we got, Vantage N430, featuring three upgrades out of 31 available, with a PR of 42.3. Apparently, that's how I won this car. Uh, let's see. Gauntlet, right? Was the special event? Endurance Gauntlet, I think is what the name was. Um, I think I have a playthrough video in my in my channel, so maybe I'll put the link down in the description below for uh, you guys to check out how I won that event with three upgrades. Um, so, uh, for head to head, let's take N430 here. Just a single lapper. And we are up against V12 Vantage S. Let's see. And we're off. Alright. There we go. Goodbye. Did I break a little too early? Maybe. I think I did. You know, better safe than sorry, right? And of course the National cuts across earlier instead of going all the way down to the hairpin. the Mercedes corner. And then we're heading into Mobile One corner. Go. And the Saks curve. The tricky one there. And just a final bit through the southern curve here. All right, got a pretty healthy lead against our opponent. There we go.
400 fame points for the effort so that's pretty dismal <laughs> but then again it's just a minute 30 seconds or so for that uh, single lapper all right I took out uh, four service bars there and apparently I needed to upgrade engine drivetrain and exhaust so there must have been some sort of a speed goal Huh. I'll have to go back and check out those videos from oh a while ago but anyway here's the gold trophy number one of however many there are gonna be so all right so yeah let's move on to uh, autocross here and uh, yeah we'll just keep pushing with the N430 here and of course autocross at Le Mans is starting at uh, Porsche curves goes through and the Ford chicane at the end uh, right before the finish line so we got about how much time 50 some seconds about 50 seconds or so with this car so here we go All right so here's the mouth of Porsche curves. Go going full throttle at the beginning. Probably one hold there, and it doesn't. <laughs> now gotta try to push a bit. There we go. 51 and change is what we gotta beat. So all right, uh, looking promising. All right, 44, 45, 46, 47. I guess I don't have that much time to kill here, do I? All right. Even so, still uh, came out a couple of seconds ahead of the target. Landing comfortably in first place, as you'd hope for tier one, right? You don't expect to struggle here. So, all right. And that takes out another couple of service bars. And that is good enough for gold trophy number two. And let's uh, go on with this cup. Uh, single lapper spa that should unlock tier two. And let's see how large is going to be the grid. I don't expect it to be terribly large. What is that, 16? All right. Beautiful, lush greenery here in Belgium. All right, and here we go. Go see a lot of um, V12 Vantage S and N430s, but uh, not seeing any uh, AMR. Oh, there we go. Those are AMR Pros. Pretty sharp looking cars. Actually, I think all Aston Martins are pretty sharp looking. Definitely have a distinct kind of classic look style. And for anyone who's been watching my videos, you guys all know how much I enjoy the Vantage GTE. So, yes, Aston Martins. I like them, what can I say? They're not necessarily the fastest, but they sound great and they're, they look great. So 
That is good enough for me. What can I say? I'm vain that way. <laughs> All right, chasing down the lead here. Oh. And apparently these cars have a rubber bumpers or something. <laughs> <laughs> the collision at that kind of speed I don't think would have been so gentle but uh, hey it's a video game and of course that's even without any assists because if you have like steering assists uh, I think the collision impact is even less uh, in terms of your like driving because you know sometimes if you hit the other car just right <laughs> or just wrong depending on how you look at it uh, you go completely off track you know spun around and uh, make you wonder where you are but that was not meant to be in this one so comfortably claiming a gold trophy here got a few dollars taken out for that collision but otherwise that was actually a pretty decent lap um, alright so that is the first cup event here in Ultimate Vantage uh, bonus series. And with that third trophy, I should unlock the tier two. There we go. And the 4,000 racing dollar bonus. All right, so moving on to tier two. We'll see you there.